everyone. Happy Tuesday. I wanted to give you guys a reading on President Trump and if he's going to be president again. Um, and what my reading told me in regards to Trump, Biden, and CCP. So let's get started. So for President Trump, um, my reading showed that new adventures will be President Trump's after the current trials pass. Um, when I got that reading, I was worried that maybe the trials of everything he's going through, he'll just go retire in Florida. And that's not what America needs and that's definitely not what America wants right now. But when I see our president taking this situation with all his strength and might, with all the resources he has and the people coming together. If this is not just something the president can do on his own. For our, our, our country to remain America and to flourish as America, the land of the free, we as a people, everyone has to take part in this. And everybody has to ask God to fight this. That's the only way we're going to win. Because with the satanics, with the left radicals, with the communism, the terrorism, the socialism, what they've done is they've implanted so many different variations of fraud and deceit deceit through our, our news, through our social media, frauding the masses through the news, frauding us with these machines, absentee ballots, the harvesting, um, unsolicited, you know, ballots being uh, sent out. They have thought of every possible venue and when I made my prediction this was going to happen after I saw the energy and the conviction of, in Hillary Clinton's face to when she was saying we're going to make sure Biden doesn't concede I knew what was coming so I, I did my prediction months ago um, and I said they're going to use everything they got they're going to use their Antifa they're going to use everything they got every possible way they could think of to fraud the selection while tricking and, 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 and duping the masses, the people, they're going to do it. So, in order for us to win, everyone has to take part. Everyone has to fight this. We have to fight to keep our country. We have to help our president. We have to stand together. That's the only way we're going to do this. So I want to make, I want to be clear on that. Because we're up against not just the most evil of evil, but they've had so many plans and so many people involved, donating money and people in Europe and, you know, with our votes and you got Zuckerberg, you know, you got all these asshole fraud satanics. I'm just going to say what they are. They're satanics. You got so many people involved, all the way to the governors, secretary of state, these representatives. They're all trying to protect the fraud. They're all they're all supporting each other with this fraud, and and, and concealing it, hiding it, pretending it doesn't exist, while duping us with it. Um, everybody has to stand up and fight this, or else they're going to take over. That's the only way we're going to win. That's the only way our president's going to be president. And I see this. I see because the corruption is, is, is such the central core infrastructure of these left radical states. 
that if, if some of these states don't act on their own behalf with their own state legislatures or their governors, if someone doesn't step in, then this has to be handled in the U.S. Supreme Court, the highest court, period. So everyone has to stand out, speak up about all the fraud that they're dumping on us. Businesses not being able to operate, you know, so on and so on and so forth. There's so much. So Trump will prevail, but everyone has to act. Everyone has to speak out and everyone has to, to fight it. And everyone has to be honest about what they've seen and, and, and what, what they experienced with this fraud. Everybody has to take part, period. And that's the only way we're going to prevail. Okay, so as for Biden, I, it's very clear and I've gotten this in a number of readings I've done for him in the past week. Um, not only is he losing friendships and relationships, but they're being challenged. Um, you know, there's a lot of bullying going on in the, in, the, on the, in the behind the scenes with him and his colleagues, left Democrat, radical Democrats, everyone who has a part in this. Again, I said in my last prediction that they're all fighting. Well, there's a lot of abuse bullying going on, grandstanding, you know, there's disconnection between some of them. There's a lot of disharmony and imbalance um, to where there's inequality within their circle of, 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 of corruption. Um, it's resulted in uh, business partnerships dissolving are possibly being dissolved, um, business deals turning sour. So that's what I see when I bring up Biden. Um, and also his mental health is not doing good. Um, so I, I, I wanna talk a little bit about CCP. CCP has been on this vengeance, this path of destruction to take over with others in the United States, including Hollywood, Scientology is involved, CCP, Biden, you know, these left radical uh, Democrats. They've all come up with different angles of how to keep the people down, um, trick the people, lie to the people, uh, and everything is based on, everything that they're trying to accomplish wreaks lack of more, uh, morality. These are very insane psychopaths psychotic, delusional ambitions. Ultimately, when you go down a path like that and you're taking lives as you're trying to gain tyrannical control and strangle holding people to where they're dying because They've unleashed COVID on us through biochemical warfare. They're trying to shut our businesses using COVID. They were trying to start murdering police officers and they're like, oh, it's COVID. People are, you know, getting cabin fever. We know that's a bunch of BS. It's all part of their plan um, to attack everybody from different angles. Um, and so the imbalance is, 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 um, it's coming back to haunt them. It's it's working against them. So, in terms 
Oh, I'm sorry. I was speaking in terms of CCP. So, um, CCP, they, you know, they have this pi these pious wishes. What they're trying to accomplish is so evil and such a detriment to this entire earth. Um, they're going to fail because the people are fighting it right now. Everyone has to stand up. Everyone has to speak out because they knew in order for them to begin with, to, to try to dupe the people and succeed with this agenda, that they would have to try to fool people. So they tried utilizing the social media and the, the media, the news, the fake news, to try to conceal what they're doing. And in order for us to combat this, we have to see it for what it is. We can't allow them to lie to our faces and just accept it and pretend nothing's happening and move along because that's how we got here from the beginning. That's what got us here this far. We are on, we are a thread away from losing our country. And when I've spoken in the past how they're going to be going after people, killing people, I'm going to tell you something right now. When I say comments like that, I don't always say, oh, well, I'm going to make a psychic prediction. This is stuff I, the universe has already given to me months ago. They have lists of people. You don't think they, they have lists of people. Lists. Lists. L-I-S-T-S. -S, lists. Of people they can't wait to get their hands on this could be anybody this could be broadcasters this could be policemen even though they defund the police they get rid of the police I'm gonna tell you right now they got a list of people they're gonna be going after um, so I just want to say, you know, when I said that in the past, it's not something I'm just saying. It's because it's part of their agenda. When I said months ago, they're going to take away our constitution. They're going to di dissect our constitution, take this out, take that. They're basically going to destroy our constitution. I said this months ago. I don't always say, oh, this is a psychic predi prediction. I just sometimes just say it because the universe had, has given it to me. Um, so in this in this video I'm saying this is a psychic prediction because I can't expect people to understand who I am and how I go about things and what I'm trying to communicate it's unfair to you guys um, but I'm also the type of person that I don't talk about my gifts I don't talk about my gifts in general to other people Maybe I have once or twice at certain work situations, I'll size someone up and I, and I say, okay, you're this, you're that, you're this, and you do this, you do that. And I am and I say jokingly, oh, I'm just a tad psychic, am I right? And they're like, yeah. So I've always used my gift to protect myself when I'm being gang stalked. And it takes a lot of my energy so I can survive leaving the house But anyways, um, everyone has to fight this in order for us to win. We can win, but not one instance of fraud can be denied. Our lives, our, our children's lives are at stake. So I want to say that CCP, they're, they're coming unraveled because the, where they're coming from is so delusional. It's so immoral. It's such a detriment to Mother Nature, to human nature, to everything that God has given us and the way God wants us to live and how God loves us. It's, it's, it's so disgusting. But because we've led this on the back end pile up, assuming that they're just 
being weird or crazy, not knowing what was coming. Um, governors, Secretary of State, representatives who are protecting this. What is it called? Abiding uh, when you when you are there's a murder. These people who are in fall, who who are know about it and are protecting it and are standing behind it, they got to be taken out of government. They, they, they have no business representing the people. If they want to live in a land where they are everything's corrupt and they control everything, they got to move to CCP. You, you can't do that here. We're not going to allow you to do it here. So even the, the law firm uh, that was helping Hillary Clinton with the, with the, with the voting fraud, Perkins Coey, they got to be held accountable. We cannot, and Zuckerberg got to be held accountable. Everyone involved in this needs to be held accountable. Or else they're going to think, they're gonna think they can just, you know, create another business name. They all come back together again and continue the same crap on us. Hillary Clinton, Obama need to be behind bars. Um, we're going to fight this voter fraud. We're going to fight until there's there's nothing left to fight for. Um, but my prediction is President Trump will be president. But we have to stand together as a nation. We can't take each other for granted. We can't take fraud for granted. And we can't let these devils tell us that we should or we ought to. And the last people we need to be listening to are these devils. Hillary, Obama, Soros, Zuckerberg, all of these people who smile in our face that are supporting this and backing this and making it happen on the happen on the back end, we gotta we gotta list them all and we we can't have them no more. CNN, you know, there has to come a time when, when, when these, when all of this, that they have to pay a price for what they're doing to our country, to our president. And I'm actually going to talk about that in my next video. Um, I, I want to do a video on what if President Trump doesn't win. But this is my prediction. Um, and I'll talk about that next on my next video on what we should do if, if Trump doesn't win, what needs to be done. Um, or if President Trump foresees he's not going to win. He's being, the system is so corrupt it's working against him regardless of the proof and the people speaking out. Um, then there's, I think, only one thing our president can do and we got to do it. And um, I'm going to talk about that in my next video. Okay, guys, stick together. Be loyal to your friends and family. Be, be loyal to our president. And the people who should be loyal and supporting our president the most are his family. And if you are the least bit leaning, leaning to the left, keep your ass over there. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you guys. And um, I'm going to try to put up links to see if you guys want to donate to help me since I'm still, you know, I've been always get stuck with the situation with, with Scientology um, and I do need support, um, but I hate asking for it and I hate having to try to put up links because I, I'm a person that I'm used to, I'm used to taking care of myself, but I've had so much help happen to me. Um, it's not safe for me when I leave the house, let alone have a job. So guys, um, I'll see you on the next video and listen, Trump 2020, we're not going to allow this fraud to dominate the satanics. These are satanics to dominate us like they, like they're dominating Hollywood. Hollywood drank the Kool-Aid, but we're not that stupid. Bye guys, see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.